Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Lux Sunny and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do 3D conversion of how to create a background with EX only. Now note, this is only for the EX edition. It is not for the Pro. This is actually the reason why I bought the EX because this is an amazing feature. So what you're going to want to do is the first thing you're going to do is open up your Clip Paint Studio EX and then you're going to go to File put new and then put whatever file that you want. I'm going to be picking a, let's see, one of my prints and I'm going to be putting OK. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to have it like this blank and make sure that you have a layer that's clean. You're going to want to import a drawing or anything from your references. I do suggest having a reference folder. Let's see, I will be using these black roses as an example. And let's see, you're going to make sure you put that there. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to go to your layer. Then you're going to put LT conversion of layer. And then it's gonna give you this really cool detail of like a lot of things you need to do, but don't freak out, it is actually really cool. Put your preview button and you'll be able to see, voila, how it looks like. So what you can do is you're going to actually put it to your preferences. You can either have your black, the shades, the heart shades. You can lower it or you can like keep it to a dark comic book feel. If you want to just do the line art yourself, I would suggest you put the black fill at a lower minimum. But if you want already the black inside it and you feel like it's not a problem, then I recommend just keeping it to like an 80 or, or a 90 because this seems like a really nice thing. What you can do is you can also put in some tone work as well. This creates like a really, really nice kind of pattern thing. It also gives you, depending on what you want, like do you want a circle, square, or what kind of tones you would like. I don't really like the tones. I think they're a little bit too much, but I will show you what they look like. And there, there we go. Ooh, now this one I actually like. There we go. That's one way to use the conversion layer. Another way is I'm going to open up again another one to show you a background. Let's see. This is one of the things that you can do with the background. So this is the background that I initially chose. So what you're going to do is the same thing. You're going to go to your layer, you're going to do the LT conversion of layer, and then you're going to put the settings that you would want. So what I did is I just put the regular, I put the regular settings, I put it to a good fill for 100% and the outline was 100. And then it's, it's very neat that it actually gives you the same thing right here, your same, same image and it doesn't change it. Like in case you need to redo it again, it doesn't like take away the image. But what it does do is it does give it a different color, which I personally really like. Now, you can also change this to color if you want to change the color, but it kept it to monochrome because it looks, you know, a lot nicer. I do want to warn you that sometimes the little bits in here look a little too like you did copy or reference it, but I like it because it gives it like a great comic book feeling. But that is how you do conversions of layers. I hope that does help you and I hope you guys enjoy this and you guys get to try more things out yourself. Now do know again this is only for the Clip Studio Paint EX so if you are interested in getting the EX I do recommend getting it because of this especially if you are a comic book artist or a manga artist this would definitely help you because you can also do buildings, setups, cafes, just amazing things. You can even just take pictures of your own house and just make it the character's house. It's really incredible. So I do recommend getting this if you really want it, but that is how you do the layer conversion and I do hope you guys find this useful and you guys get to try it out yourself for those that have it and if you don't then at least you, you know something now, right? Hope you guys enjoy this and see you guys on the next time and don't forget to follow for extra Clip Studio paint tips for more and stuff. Bye everybody!